this is one I'm doing a tune-up on, guys. And look what happened. Yes, guys. You know what's weird about this, guys? Look at this. See how shiny this is compared to the to the other ones? So what does that tell you, guys? That this is a new coil. Now, I had to get out of the habit of bragging on OEM. Uh, because the mere fact that we're replacing it says, you know, something about its quality. Okay, now, but I can continue to brag on the build. Okay, it's quality built. All right, now, sure, they may fail like this coil right here. This is OEM. It's the, the build of it, the quality of its build is superior, man, especially to these rinky dinks. I just barely pulled it. I'm doing a tune-up, guys. So I took the boat off. I pulled on it, and it's, it just snaps off. So now I got to dig that out of there. This is the rinky dink. It even feel rinky dink. So what I can assume is that they had a misfire in cylinder four. Okay, two, four, six. And they end up replacing the core. So likely the OEM core, you know, shorted out. Which hence the reason why they replaced this in the first place. But I guess what I'm trying to say, guys, if you're going to replace it, at least go back in with quality okay oem quality sure from a stand from the standpoint that it failed in the first place it's pretty hard for me to <laughs> justify saying what i'm saying but i'm standing by the quality of this bill these things are i can yank these out now if they real old they'll break too but nowhere near is this this is fairly new one pull look at all the stuff it has accumulated so basically i got to try to get that out of there I'm already, I was already pressed for time, so I just gave up, man. I wanted this car to go today. I took all these off, went to pull this snap. I like, forget it. I don't know. I'm, now I'm upset. You know, I'm just depressed. Like, crazy stuff like this happened. I'm glad it's up here at Cylinder too. but this cheap little rinky dink probably was five bucks. Look, the other end just fell off. Oh, my goodness. So, now, all of these are OEM. Matter of fact, let me pull these off while y'all here. See if any of these. All these look like they haven't been replaced. Guys, all you got to do is give it a little twist. Okay? Yes. I mean, it's tight down there. In fact, I'm going to put some uh, some gel in here. I'm going to show y'all a trick that I, I utilized to get that. Uh, so, the next guy will not have this problem. Uh-oh. Is this new? That's kind of shiny, guys. Oh, boy. Please don't snap up. Come on. Well, okay. Come on, baby. Yeah, okay. It's still OEM. Yeah, that's OEM. All right, so. Oh, my goodness. I have to dig. I even got this one out. Well, it's OEM, so. Look at that. I mean, it's tight, but the because of the way it's built and designed, it, it did not shatter. Have I seen some OEM shatters? Of course, guys. I'm not going to say and say that. But let me show you something. Now, I'm in the middle of doing a tune-up, right? Y'all see this dielectric grease? This is what I use after every tune-up, guys. Take you some of this. All right. I put this on the boots every time I do a tune-up. So the next guy won't have to go through this. I put a little of this right around here. And just a little bit right around you don't want it on the electric on the spark plug itself but just a little around the boot area because most of the snugging is going on right up in this area okay this that's all you do guys to avoid that oh my goodness man this sucks so when the guy when you go to put this in you press it down watch this look at that you see how easy that was i did not have to fight with that at all Every time I do a tune-up, go back on with dielectric grease just around the boot. All what's happening is the boot is snagging on to. It, it tends to get hot down there a little bit. You would think boot uh, heat would melt this rubber, but it's just trying to grab a hold to it. I put a little bit right here, and I put a little bit around here. You never will have this problem again, guys. Oh, my goodness. This cheap piece of it ain't even got a name on it you're gonna put some if you're gonna replace some parts at least make sure it have a name on it can't even take that back and get your money back so how do we get this out 
It's no secret strategy, guys. Just dig, dig, dig. Let me see if I can get lucky. It's almost time to go home. Uh, you don't want to tear it up. I might need some of those dig deep needle nose. Let me try these. I want to get under there. Yep. So much for that idea. I refuse to have to pull this valve cover off. Hey, what was that? Y'all see that? Holy shit. Shoot stuff. Holy shucks. Okay, the spring just popped out. It did it while I was pulling on it, so it kind of felt like a little, seemed like a little backfire. But I don't care. I got to get this out of here, guys. Now, thank God I got some extra coils, because I'm, I'm going to tell you the risk of calling the customer back, telling them you need, what is this, 80 bucks for another coil? They're going to raise all kinds of hell. I just got a coil replaced. So to counter that, I'm going to have to give them one of the one of the coils I got off one of the engines I was doing. Oh, yeah. If I can turn this. Oh, it's just coming apart. Oh, no. But come on, baby. Oh. All right, oh, guys. We going to be in a world of trouble. Now it's not even twisting. I can't even get it to twist. Oh, oh, it's just coming all apart. Oh my goodness. Why me? Oh no. Cheap piece of garbage. Oh, see, it's just coming apart. I can't even get it to twist off of the spark plug, guys. Look at that. Oh. I guess I can just dig. I hope these pliers long enough to get me all the way to the spark plugs. If I get the spark. Come on, baby. Uh-oh. I felt some guys. Hold up. Come on, baby. Come to pop. Oh, I just keep grabbing more rubber. No, I need that bottom part. Yep. Let go. Look at this crap. Guys, do not put these cheap as... Oh my goodness! That's a wrap. I ain't got nothing to grab on now. Yeah, all the rubber just... Look at that. I'm about to go bar somebody's super skinny spark plug. Yeah, I'm done with these. That's deep as they go. Well, guys, I got to go find somebody. Damn. This car was supposed to freaking go today. Look at this crap. All I can do now, which for now, is just shatter the boot up to the point where it released off the freaking spark plug. Hey guys, look what I got. So I went bar the co-workers. Long needle. We gotta get in there, guys. Come to Papa, baby. Look at that, guys. Hey! Ta -da! I got it, I got it. Uh 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 Hey, hey, hey. Woo! Look down in there, guys. Let me remove the spark plug to see. All right, guys. Y'all see down in there? Ooh, there's still some old rubber on there. So let me see if I can get that. Get that little small piece out. Guess not. I don't even care. I'm so happy. 
here we go guys look at this whatever else in there probably fell in the cylinder hopefully hopefully it won't damage now god all right guys that's it guys i guess the moral of the story is don't put no cheap look at all this uh, <laughs> cheap ass coal on your car I'm gonna chunk this sucker so far no, it could act like it couldn't even hold the voltage that the car produced I don't know that's all I have guys thanks for watching come and subscribe see y'all in the next video